All right, so let's go ahead and give this one a shot here. Let's dive on in. So correctly stated in the chat box, yes, we are looking for the perimeter. And some of y'all took it further and said, we're looking for the perimeter of a rectangle. And the perimeter of a rectangle is going to be perimeter equals double the length and double the width added together. So notice how some of the answers were different. Some of us said length times width. I saw a couple folks say four times side. So notice how, although the answer is right there in front of you with your notes, do you all understand the practice that is necessary to make this automatic? Yeah, it's gonna take time. So again, give yourself that patience and grace. You got this. Here we go. So we're looking for the perimeter of the rectangle. So what I know instantly is if I had the length and the width, I'm good to go. If I had that length and I had my width, I'm good to go. And the great thing is I have the length and I have the width. I have everything I need. So I'm set. So here we go. My length is going to be 14. My width is going to be six. And I'm just going to rewrite everything else around it. It was two times that length plus two times that width. Boom. So Vanessa, if we're looking for perimeter, we use the formula if it's of a rectangle. This is specific to a rectangle. And that's why we needed to know the shape for sure. So now that we know the shape, we can put out the formula. And now that we have the formula, we plugged everything in. Now that we plugged everything in, we're here to solve. So two times 14, that's gonna be 28. Two times six, that's gonna be 12. And now we have 28 plus 12, and we bring all that together, and that's going to be 40 centimeters. And there we go. And that's why the answer here is B, 40 centimeters. So I see in the chat box the question saying, hey, what's the easier way of memorizing the formulas? Well, think about it like this. Let's go ahead and take it way back to let's say, you know, if you went to college or let's say high school, you know, let's say you're in school, your crush comes up to you and says, here's my phone number. What's the first thing you're gonna do? Memorize it. <laughs> say it over and over and over again. If someone were to rip that paper with the number out of your hand, well, guess what? You lost it. So going over it again and again and again is going to help you memorize it, especially in practice. Using the formulas in practice is the fastest way to memorize them.